we are giving something like 7 to the power negative 2. Now, when you have something like this, all you have to do first is to turn it upside down. 7 to the power negative 2 is the same thing as 1 over 7 to the power 2. So that's basically what it means. So if we simplify this further, we're going to have 1 over 49. Okay, most students usually have difficulties dealing with this kind of rule. So ensure that you don't forget how to simplify this kind of problem because that's basically the kind of problems you see in your back because it's tricky and students find it difficult. So make sure you understand this rule. Another example, let's say if you are giving something like yes, use alphabet now a to the power negative four. Okay, a to the power negative four is something as one over a to the power four. So that's basically what is trying to explain or talk about. Let's look at another problem. Let's say we have something like 5 over 3. Bracket close and we have negative 2 aside. Now, to simplify this problem, firstly, this is something as 1 over 5 over 3. What this thing, another way you can express this value is 1 divide 5 over 3. Now, when we are dividing fractions and you have something like this, if you want to change this division sign to multiplication, you are going to invert what you have here. So what you do is going to give us 1 times 3 over 5. So when you simplify this further, you are going to have 3. Remember, we have not put this to it, this power 2 to it. Alright, so when you do this, you are going to now have 3 over 5. Now, this power, which is 2, you then add it. So when you simplify this further, you're going to have 3 square is something as 9, and 5 square is something as what, 25. That would be the answer to this question. Okay? So basically, when you're dealing with negative powers, for instance, when you have, I wanted to understand this, now you not forget it, when you have something like 6 to the power 2. Now, this thing just like a reciprocal of 6, the inverse of 6, the reciprocal of 6 being 1 over 6. Now, once you do it, just when you see a negative sign, what should come to your mind is reciprocal of it or the inverse of it. Or uh, just for you to turn it upside down. Right, so when you turn it upside down, the power, you now bring it, you now distribute the power to each of the values, both at the numerator and at the denominator. So that's basically what this is talking about. Just like in this one now. So the reciprocal of this 6 is 1 over 6. So this power, you then add it here. So it's not be 1 over 6 square is 36. So that's basically how you can deal with this kind of problem or you can solve this problem.